Hey guys, this is Jacob here with my first update on the Rehan build, on the Livestacking build. Like this will be the first step that you will want to get. It is like level 90. I did not take the last trade yet. <coughs> and this is what the build look what the damage looks like. Like you should be completely fine farming time mark 7 maps and getting all the required gear over time like you should be able to build this or under 300 fe's for sure <coughs> maybe even under 150 depending on like what you decide to buy so right right around like 200 million dps is more than enough to clear time mark 7 with ease and what you do with the build you basically just uh Keep blinking through the map like this, and everything around you dies. <coughs> and uh, your spirit basically takes care about of all the, of all the killing. So what I do early, you just want to get a hero relic uh, that will like this will be the like mods that you want to go for. I've gone with tier 2 because I just wanted to go cheap. The only thing that you want on the relic is uh, uh, the last like uh, what is this called last engram slot open because you will want to use the last engram slot for a specific memory later on after level 90 and after you get this uh, soul stacking candle which I will show you. So yeah, these two mods and five engram slot open. Then you want to get <coughs> a sullen spirit memory, which gains nine additional rage when seating spirit uses a skill. So the seating spirit then takes care of all your like rage generation, so you don't have to care about generating rage anymore. And just as much as much max rage as you can afford, like if you cannot effort 28 which was around 150 just go for lower maybe 20 maybe 15 yeah whatever you are willing to spend and then you want to buy this prototype future burned offering prototype which if you don't socket it into the fifth slot it will just do the first mod and then later on after you get other items as well you can slot it to the fifth slot and fully automate your build and just be dependent on the seating spirit completely. <coughs> but yeah, you can use the first mod, which makes your seating spirit like uh, to always exist when you have berserk active. And as you can see, I have berserk active all the time, and this is the seating spirit just attacking himself. Uh, yeah, until you socket the memory to the last slot you can use your attack yourself as well once you socket it to the last slot <coughs> you cannot use your attack anymore when your spirit is active so you use your attack to generate rage and once uh, once you get berserk you just keep running through the map and everything keeps dying <coughs> so yeah trades uh, like this the top one here for the max rage and then the last one will be the bottom one and on the level 75 you are getting the bottom one because you will eventually open the top one using another prototype memory as well and this one the last one will help you with scaling your, your life so that will provide you with more damage as well but you are limited to 45 percent max res does not really matter because you will have so much survivability from other sources that yeah those do not matter that much. <coughs> now for the gear, I've put together whatever I could find was cheap, so all the items are around 20 or under FEs. The only like item that you want to focus on as first is this one. You really want to get this as soon as possible. So that is around 40. Uh, if you go for uncorroded might get cheaper or unidentified around yeah under 40 you should be able to get it for around 40 
and the necklace for around 10 as well. So this combo, uh, this cicada shell and this op ocean of rock <coughs> necklace as a budget version for the last mod which gives you energy shield depends uh, energy shield from your maximum life basically and on all the other items you want max life on everything and elemental resistances basically that's what you will be aiming for max life and elemental resistances so as you can see here armor base with max life and resistances uh, on gloves armor base with fervor <coughs> max life and again erosion resistance here belt maximum life defense which will scale your energy shield and armor and resistances then on boots you want as much movement speed as you can get and then max life and resistances on rings you want max life with defense <coughs> max life and resistances again the other ring is also max life and resistances the sword i've dropped this sword on the sword on around level 50 so it was during story and i'm still using it because yeah you just just get anything with high energy and some like gear attack speed because you get most of your damage <coughs> from your cicada shell so you just want to be able to attack fast so attack gear attack speed and then elemental mods on the sword like elemental penetration elemental damage additional damage to life and so on and on the shield <coughs> again armor base with maximum life uh, elemental penetration and resistances that's it just bought a cheap shield there i will show you the the items here <coughs> so the relic mine tier 2 one was around 75 but you can get lower tiers for like 10 so definitely affordable this one was 160 but if you go for like maybe 15 max rage then you get to also around 10 fe price this prototype i'm not using at this point but 20 so that's cheap belt 14 helmet 20 gloves for two but you can get normal ones for around 20 as well 15 10 25 20 20 so yeah around 20 fees per per item you should be completely fine in time mark 7 boss rushing <coughs> uh, for the passive tree i'm going with god of war looks like this determined for uh, cheat death and instant smash for critical strike ignores armor and armor mitigates elemental damage as well so that that's uh, another source of like dealing more elemental damage because you ignore the armor portion of defense of monsters against your elemental damage and 100% of your damage is elemental damage the second tree is Ronin or stuck in life and energy shield whenever you can get it so here defense 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 and life defense scales or armor and energy shield so you are using armor bases and you are getting energy shield from life so yeah that that helps you scales, scale it here we take sprinkle a chance for melee skills to have 80 percent skill area makes your circle of death bigger and additional melee damage falling leaves additional dam minus additional damage for weapons but plus 50 percent additional damage for attacks and the tree looks like this getting the steep strike chance here because <coughs> our skill is steep strike using is using steep steep strike oh yeah and the last one is elementalist uh the tree is not that like uh um imp not important but uh, the important part of the tree are 
these like large passive mode, uh, passive nodes which translucence gives you pretty much like 20% additional damage from each element and you are you are dealing all three elements like lightning fire and cold so you are you are using <coughs> this completely for all three of those damages and the next one is 50% chance to inflict elemental element so you are using all the elemental damage so you are inflicting all the elemental elements and you are dealing 25% additional damage against enemies with element so <coughs> that's 25% additional damage from this one and there's a lot of energy shield on this tree as well and life and uh, resistances like you get the resistances from here and here and then you get regain which is your main source of like survive, uh, regenerating your life and energy shield and even more energy shield uh, <coughs> as well so yeah scales a lot of your life and energy shield from this tree set you of the god i have nothing yet uh, for the skills berserking blade <coughs> is a steep strike build so it is using steep strike and uh, I'm using critical strike damage here later on you will use mark because you will get critical strike damage on one of your candles uh, burst of anger I'm using cost code version because I'm reserving so much mana that I'm not able to cast it when I need it but if you use a trigger skill like you could use uh, I don't have it here but you could use something like activation medium multi strike or activation medium preparation then the skill gets used even when you don't have enough mana for it so yeah that's a way to do it as well for now i'm using spider strike <coughs> for mobility which lets me like blink around the map so to complete the map faster later on once you get this to the last slot you will not be able to spell strike anymore so you will swap the skill for blink uh, Pairing it with periodic burst. Periodic burst gives you two seconds of additional attack speed uh, every six seconds, so that makes your spirit attack faster from time to time. Uh, pulse rage increases your attack speed. What is it? Attack speed? No, additional damage and area. It less gives you attack speed, right? No. Okay, forget about the for, forget about the attack speed. Uh, that's another aura. So bulls rage, additional damage, and fearless war cry gives you a higher chance of getting steep strike. So, which steep strike, see, steep strikes make your berserking blade bigger and deal more damage. Uh, early on. We are using energy shield fortress because as you can see here I have 90, 9k energy shield. Uh, later on you want to swap the aura for the steadfast but if I do it now I lose almost half of the energy shield so it is not worth it yet uh, because all the damage is scaled from energy shield for now so for now energy shield fortress, uh, energy fortress, <coughs> precise swiftness for the cooldown recovery speed. Elemental resistance to increase our max LRS after level 90. Uh, uh, this actually does nothing, and you want to get the precise elemental resistance here to get more resistances, which the overcap elemental resistances get scaled into energy shield and uh, into life, and that's that gets scaled into energy shield. So, precise elemental resistance here as soon as possible as well after level 90 and the last aura is fearless which increases your critical strike rating damage and area so it helps you clear better uh, for the next upgrades i want to get a stacking candle which you should be able to get a stacking candle for under 300 fe's <coughs> i've just marked some here so just to show you that you can get them under 300 so you want some that like do not have uh, very very bad uh, uh, downsides so this is okay 
We are not using mana that much because we are just running through the map. This, we are not using restoration skill, so this should be okay as well. Erosion resistance for monsters for every stack of wild. We are not doing erosion damage, so this does this does not this does nothing <coughs> negative to our build. Uh, yeah, so under 300, you should be able to find some use use usable one. So yeah. Now, just to show you how you would do the maps, you just get into a map or how to build performs in time arc 7 maps it goes like this and you just keep going like this so as you can see it is already pretty fast even under level 90 and without the stacking candle and once we get the stacking candle which will be for the next video so I will up update, upgrade the build tomorrow and I will do the next part tomorrow. But yeah, this is the build under level 90, only two, re uh, only two memories without level 90 trait. That's, how, that's what you want to focus on, get your cicada shell, get your amulet, get as much life as you can, that's it. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching, I will see you in the next update, bye!